One minute history, let's go. In early 1798, a young Napoleon Bonaparte proposed a military expedition to seize Egypt to better protect French trade interests and cut Britain off from India and the East Indies. Napoleon was sent off with a sizable army and brought along dozens of scientists, linguists, mathematicians, and more. He took on the Mamluk elite, a slave warrior military government that had broken from Ottoman control. The campaign was rapid and brutal, the French sweeping through Egypt, and the final battle of the pyramids ended with only 29 French casualties compared to the 20,000 killed or wounded Mamluk. Initially, the Egyptians were actually quite impressed with French scholars who would go on to discover the Rosetta Stone, but for the most part, they were pretty appalled by the drunken ridings of the French army. While Napoleon made efforts to flatter the Egyptians initially, he would go on to steal and plunder from Egypt. The campaign ultimately failed as Britain sunk all but two French vessels at the Battle of the Nile, stranding the expeditionary force and ending any dreams Bonaparte had there. Bonaparte then led a brutal campaign in Ottoman territory, which he was then pushed out of again until he met a stalemate in Egypt, where he couldn't be forced out, but he couldn't win. He would then dip out to go back to France, where he would pursue political careers. Oh boy.